Today I have another great poster to review from Craft Holster. Al sent the vertical light bearing holster for me to review and I'm going to show everyone all the details. But first I'm going to turn around so everyone can see you want the strap centered between the shoulder blades on your back. That way it's more comfortable. I'll show you a few of the features before we sit down and get to the nitty gritty on everything. This came with the tie downs. I've got them on both sides. Of course, this is long, and I'll explain that in a few minutes. This is a nice holster. If we get ready to draw it, just go straight up and like that. And then when you come back, I'm going to unsnap it so you can see why you need the tie downs. Okay, when you lean over, it's going to sag this way. This, not so much. That's a little optional on that one. But I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to show you a horizontal holster from Kraft just to see the difference in it about how it sags with straps and with other them. And as you can see the way this rides, it doesn't really sag this way. Now I'm going to sit down and we'll go back to this holster and go all, over all the features of it. Well, one thing I'm going to show you right off the bat, I did get this one monogrammed. You can see it's got a really good fit. This MMP is clear, by the way. Slides in there. I stretched it just a tad because I like it a little less drag, but it really didn't need it for most people. Magazine carrier over here is the same way. Just the way it come. I didn't even adjust anything on that one. But one thing I do, you can see there's plenty of strap on here depending how big you are, how tall, weight, whatever. And I recommend you Wear it for a couple of days before you even think about making any permanent adjustments to this holster. And when you do, I recommend you put Loctite on the screws. And if you want later, you can put some double-sided tape on this. You, if you wanted to put some leather cement on it, that would be great too. It's just what you want to do. But you want to make sure it's comfortable before you make any adjustments like that at all. And high quality holster, and like I say, I'm not real tall and torso wise, so I don't have much space here, but I will cut this off. I do know where I need that. And this one, you can adjust it adjust it this way if you're taller you got three different positions on that one but this is a light bearing Smith and Wesson MMP they have tons of different style light holsters red dot holsters they've got them too before we go I'm going to show everyone this had the screws in it and this one for the Beretta had buckles. I asked Al about the screws. He sent me some. He said they will work. He said, but if there was damage to the straps, the warranty would not cover that. I said, well, I just won't even recommend that to anybody. But they're both quality holsters. It just depends what your needs are. The longer firearm, the vertical might be what you want. If you're real thick from front to back, you can carry a larger gun horizontal. And if you're not, a smaller gun. They're both great holsters. It's just personal preference of what you want. Go to their website, 
check out everything they have. They have great warranty. You've got a 30-day trial on it. If you don't like it, send it back. Like and subscribe. Don't forget there's a Bearded Sharpener Facebook page, and we'll see you next time.